Good evening and welcome to Confluent on this Wednesday evening. Let's just take a moment of quiet as we begin to put aside the thoughts of today. Not because they don't matter, just because it matters that we can come to our Heavenly Father and concentrate. Calm me, O Lord, as you still the storm. Still me, O Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. Father, bless the work that is done and the work that will be. Father, bless the servant that I am and the servant that I will be. Thou Lord and God of power, shield and sustain me this night. I will lie down this night with God and God will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with Christ and Christ will lie down with me. I will lie down this night with the Spirit and the Spirit lie down with me. God and Christ and the Spirit be lying down with me. Tonight from our wonderful little book by Nick Fawcett called Daily Prayer, we are thinking about only human. Job 33 verse 12, God is greater than any human being. Something for us to ponder. Oh well, we're only human. I expect we've all heard similar words to those more often than we could begin to remember. The fact that we are only human is taken to explain and indeed even justify all kinds of foolish actions and errors of judgment. Few of us would argue that the assertion that human nature, despite all its potential for good, is fundamentally flawed. Yet we, yet are we right to talk about being only human? Some passages in scripture seem to suggest so, none more than the bold statement above from the book of Job. In fact, throughout the Old Testament and also the New, there is a strand of tradition asserting the total sovereignty of God, the fact that he is unlike any other, beyond human comprehension, so holy that no one can see and live. Surely then, there can be no argument. Well, not quite, for there are also passages like Genesis 1, speaking of God creating humankind in his own image, or Luke 12 verse 7, in which Jesus speaks so eloquently of the value God places on each one of us. Or Psalm 8, where human beings are said to be just a little lower than God himself. God, in other words, doesn't see us as only human, but as wonderfully so, lovingly fashioned by his hands and infinitely important. Yes, we all know what we mean by the expression, we're only human, but don't let that don't let's push it too far and above all, don't let's allow it to colour our misunderstanding of what it is to be human. We all have our faults, but we also have our worth, our strengths and our God-given potential. Though we may sometimes overlook that, God never will. So ask yourself this evening, do you use being only human to excuse your weaknesses or mistakes, or do you strive to fulfil your human potential in Christ? Let's pray. Living God, I am guilty sometimes of overstepping my humanity, minimising the gulf between us and setting myself up in your place. Yet at other times I am guilty of the opposite mistake, devaluing my humanity and belittling that of others. I see weakness rather than strength, failure rather than potential, and errors rather than achievements. I write people off rather than recognise their true worth. I expect the worst rather than believe the best. I fail to appreciate all that you are able to do in people's lives, including my own. Living God, I understand so little of what it means to be human. Speak to me now 
in glimpsing your greatness, may I discern more clearly my own worth and the worth of all. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen. The peace of God be over me to shelter me, under me to uphold me, about me to protect me, behind me to direct me, ever with me to save me. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me and Teddy in his cat tree for Compline this evening. Remember as you care for others, please care for yourself. As you pray for others, remember to add yourself to those prayers. And when the world, which is increasingly getting more and more scary, when it just feels too big for you, remember how big God is, bigger than we think. Good night and God bless you.